Welcome back to What RT Noobs for General Disturbance. This is a Stridsvan S1. It's a tier 8 Swedish premium tank destroyer. And it's located on the north spawn of Prokhorovka under the command of Andromeda. Well, this Swedish flat pack, or IKEA tank as they call it, um, is quite a stealthy little tank, but it's actually a lot of fun and can earn a lot of credits if you can do a small amount of damage. And you can see Andromeda's got one mark of excellence on the barrel. And he's... where's he going? Oh, yep, he is going over to the uh, west side of the battlefield. I thought for a second he was going to fire from the railway line. I think the Scorpion wants to do that. That's where he's gone. Okay, well, where's he going to take this IKEA tank? Well, I think this flat pack is going to be taking the usual spotting position or usual tank destroy position, which is where that batch at 25 tons located himself at the moment. These bushes over on the far west side, which are actually quite good because once you've actually fired, you can back up a bit more and uh, conceal yourself. And uh, you can see right across the battlefield. So if somebody's actively spotting, you're going to do a bit of damage to them. Ah, the bat chat's moved a bit forward from us. He's risking being detected. But Andromeda's into his uh, siege mode and is now ready for the enemy. You can see good view all the way down the battlefield, right the way to the south. Conqueror's making a move, which is not the right tank to do that. Should be the bat chat 12 ton. But I think we're going to push up because it looks like the enemy is not where... Oh, no, Conqueror's starting to receive damage. Yep, he's starting to receive damage, so we know the enemy's just a short distance ahead of him because they've spotted him. And, oh my gum, Andromeda's taking the spotting position. This is a spotting position, not uh, what you would normally expect for a tank destroyer. Wow, well, let's see how he does. Now, if he pulls back a bit, he might be able to use the bush mechanic. But he does risk getting spotted if the enemy moves up. No sign of them yet. Okay, we've got some other enemies over the far side. If he fires right now, what well, he did... Now, is he, was he going to get spotted? No! He hasn't been seen. Oh, was that round? No, that was a round nearby. Somebody fired in this direction. I think it might have been a re return shot from the ISM. Yep, some ground's being kicked up, so somebody is firing in this direction. That was a near miss. And down to the south, we've got a 2684. Nope, didn't go through. Wrong angle. Needs to go for the... Yeah, between the tracks. I think that's a no penetration there. He's got a blue mark, not a red one. He can pen that SU-101. Um, yep. Well, the, he's out the way, but that 2684 is still down there. To be honest, I don't think they actually saw him. I think they were just returning fire in this direction. His sixth sense hasn't gone off. Ooh, that was an IS-3 committing suicide. ISM. I would aim for the front, actually, rather than that to try and track him, hold him in place. No. Ah, right. Malchon. This is a more difficult prospect. Ideally, you want to go for between the tracks. Otherwise, you're just not going to get through the frontal armor. You've got a blue mark there, so it's not going to go through. Might be able to get it through the cheeks around the uh, turret. It was going yellow, so maybe, just maybe. It's got a shot in the ISM.
We've lost sight of the 2684 and the Mort Martian. The Batchat 12 ton is finally doing the job that his tank was created for to find the enemy. And now he's got the pen. Yep, he went for the hull. This time round, it did go through. Oh, and he's got the kill. Or did he? Yes, he did. Good. Nice one. Now, where are they? They've pulled back quite a long way back because the Batchat can't find them. I'm beginning to wonder how many are actually on down there. Well, it's the Wizzy111 FT. And there's an Object 430 and the enemy team has managed to make it up near our cap and is at the railway crossing. But we've taken out the Wizzy111. Still just using standard ammo. I didn't actually mention the alpha damage of the gun. It's a 105mm gun, as you can see here, 390 alpha, standard. Got 330 penetration with the premium. And with the uh, HE rounds, you can do 480. But you've only got penetration of 53mm. You're not going to find many tanks you can penetrate uh, with 53mm on this battlefield at the moment, except, of course, the Arty. Tier 10 game. But that does mean he's got plenty of potential to earn extra XP because uh, he's going to be firing at tier 10 opponents. And that's the Centurion 5-1, the Aussie one with the barbecue. Yes! That's another kill. Four kills. He might actually get a top gun. It's possible. There's still seven enemy out there. They've only got one RT in this game, a GWE-100. Our RT's already dead, I'm afraid. But with three tanks up on the enemy, I think what's, what we've done is we've surrendered the east side of the battlefield and they've made it over the hill back up as close to the cap. But they can't go any further because there's tanks in their way and that Object 430 Every time he tries to get across the railway line, he gets nailed by a number of tanks who are watching that spot, including an ISU-152, an ISM, and a Scorpion-G. And the 430 FU has been taken out by the Pershing. So, six enemy remaining. SU-130 PM. Oh, just a, l a fraction of a second too late on the shot there. The ISM got the kill. But Jetto and the Scorpion G have thrown care to the wind. They're moving south. They want the kills. There's only five enemy remaining. They're diving in there. They found the enemy. It's the 268. We're not going to get through there. Best thing we can do is track him, let our teammates kill him, get the damage assist. You can get through the side. Yes! When he's face on to us, it's very difficult to get a pen. I think actually we were firing into his rear there. Okay, just the Malshan. The Scorpion G's going down. So after the Malshan, there's just a Yag Tiger. But it's the one with the 128mm gun. And then that GWE 100, which we could certainly do with... Oh, and Scorpion G has just been killed by the Martian. He did have low hit points. There he is. He's difficult to penetrate at this range. But if you can go for the tracks, you can hold him in place. And then pick up the damage assist. He's trying to get it through the sides of the turret. The cheeks. And he got one there through the side armor, I think. Nope, and we've lost our Progetto. Oh, and that was a kill. The ISU-152 got him, and that's the end of the game. They've killed the GWE-100. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. 
It's an ace tanker for Andromeda in the Stridsvan S1. It's his first ace tanker on this vehicle. It's got the banner underneath. That signifies the first time. And on top of that, he picked up a fighter badge. And for taking that forward position, he also got a spotter badge. Would you believe it? He was doing the job of a light tank. And a fire for effect as well to cap it all off. His win eight for that game was 6,998. And the reason for that is he was, he was shooting at the enemy, not getting seen and doing a lot of damage and spotting for his team as well well there you go right at the top of the table in fact actually he did do the highest damage in the game overall 3867 hit points of damage the next high score was the Yag tiger on the enemy team with 3778 and after that the gorilla 15 with 3436 uh, when it came to kills, he got the second highest number of kills. The GWE 100 on the enemy team, very successful. He got five kills, uh, whereas Andromeda managed to pick up four. And then the next highest after that was two. And when it came to base XP, just look at that. A tier 8 tank in a tier 10 game, he does 1,240 base experience points out of that one. 998 to the Progetto 46, who picked up a Confederate. And 922 to the Batch 25 ton. Well, let's have a look at detail. 24 shots fired, 20 direct hits, only 13 penetrations though. He did fire a lot of shots at targets which he couldn't pen because the pen indicator said no. And unfortunately, trying to get through the armor on that 2684, just couldn't do it. Damage of 3,867 hit points and all of it was at more than 300 meters, would you believe it? He spotted five enemy vehicles, damaged seven of the enemy, killed four of them and did damage assistance or rather spotting assist of 2,763 hit points. Now on a premium count, he earned 61,388 credits out of that game after um, damage and, and expenses and my bird certainly likes him as well yes he's enjoying this battle and he also earned 3,100 XP from the game overall oh yes well he's really singing is he likes this battle a lot so if you enjoyed that replay please give this video a like do subscribe to our channel and if you don't i'll send reggie over and he'll sing you to death <laughs> thanks for watching